What is up, everybody? This is Keith, go big guys, E31 across the DFSN industry, and it's Friday, May 21st. Have a four game WNBA slate after, what was it, one, one showdown last night? So, looking forward to this slate. Um, I think so far, this might be one of the more difficult slates in terms of I don't necessarily see a chalk build, you know, as of, I'm recording this at 7 45 in the morning. So, that could change by lock, but, you know, we thought we were going to have a really chalky night. Can't remember, was it Wednesday? Um, but then Candace Parker gets ruled out, you know, just before lock. Things go crazy. I, I screw up the 2v2, hardcore. I, I, I love the shields on both sites. I thought that she would be, you know, the number two in terms of, like, shots. Didn't happen that way. Didn't have Hubbard. You know, we had indoor already, but no Ruthie Hubbard. You didn't have Ruthie Hubbard. You, you, you weren't making money. So, hoping that we – I don't mess up those 2v2s tonight. Um, and looking forward to just, you know, giving you a couple picks. Remember, this is the three ball. So three picks in DraftKings, three picks on FanDuel. Normally a little bit of overlap on the two. So let's jump right into them. But a quick reminder that for us to keep doing these videos, um, really do need your support. So like, comment, subscribe. It all really does help. Let's just put these out, these videos for free, um, you know, and really support the entire FSI team, not only myself. All right, let's jump into the picks. We're going to start off on DraftKings. And, uh, you know, I'm going to start with the cover per the cover girl of the article and the most expensive player on both on both sides, Sabrina Ionoscu. So fresh off of a triple-double, if you take out the, the second Indiana game where, you know, the reports were, you know, she went to the Kobe Bryant, Bryant tribute and, um, you know, was pretty emotional. She said she was out of it. You know, I was joking with our Discord. We were talking about it and, you know, I don't remember if it was me or somebody else that says it, but it's like, all right, well, if she would have dropped 60, it would have been because, you know, she was dedicating. So those things are just like so hard, right? You know, you you hear news about somebody doing, you know, an event and it's like, all right, is that a good or bad thing? You know, it depends on how it spends it. And ultimately, sometimes it depends on the result. But let's toss out that game. And we have 53 and 63 DK from the best players in college history. Already is showing, you know, even last year in the shortened season before she got hurt, she was already showing huge upside, like probably, you know, the biggest DFS talent in WNBA. And now she's released 37 minutes in those two games. So we're literally talking about playing the whole game, um, over 15 shots in each, and threatening triple doubles in both. Washington is not good. Um, I think that this game has a ton of just like blow up potential, not blow out. I don't think either team is that great. So, you know, if you've watched my other stuff for a while, I always have the saying crap my crap equals gold sometimes. And, you know, that very well could be what we have here. Two teams that aren't that great. You know, I guess maybe TBD on the Liberty, right? Because if Sabrina and Laney are really, really good, maybe they have a shot. But I just think it's a great, great position that we could see this game just go off. Um, if it goes off, you know Sabrina is going to be a huge part of it. And at 11 2, while, you know, and let's see, make sure on FanDuel is 8,600. So these are, these are steep prices to pay. But I think, you know, if you, if you think she's going to get 50 DK, you lock and load her because in the WNBA, where, you know, fantasy points can be at a premium, just locking in 50 in your lineup is a huge deal. So Sabrina Oyanosku on both sites, um, I love, and I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make sure I make them happen. On DraftKings, Tiffany Hayes is a big reason why this can happen. First game back from overseas, she had 26 minutes. She shot a putrid one for 10, still got the 16 DK, which at 6,000 is not killing you. So, so you have a super talented player who, you know, in past years, she's 8,000, 9,000 on DraftKings, really good score, just a really good player. But you get a one for 10 performance, you still get close to 3X. Let's say that she does even shoots 30%, right? Um, all of a sudden, now we're at 20 DK. She had no rebounds. You know, she got there by steals and blocks. I don't know. I just love the play. You know, Indiana has shown the ability to have high scoring games too. So at 6,000, I just think she's just, she's just the one misprice. You know, we, we keep always having like one misprice on these DK sites, right? And you've got to take advantage of that misprice or you're going to be out of it. Tiffany Hayes is at misprice tonight. 6,000, lock and load. Finally, Tina Charles, hashtag revenge game, hashtag Washington has nobody else. Um, in the two games, she has 16 and 20 shots. That's going to likely continue again tonight. Um, New York does not have a good interior. Um, Tina Charles could absolutely destroy that interior. And while, yes, 
there are other really, really good options in this range, right? Go up. We have Liz Cambridge. We have Brittany Griner. Um, you know, Brianna T Turner, I would have never put her in that range, but she's just been mashing. You have Naneka. You have so many good options here, but I do think because of the usage, because of the matchup, I already talked about that. I think Tina Charles stands out to me as somebody who has a really, really good double-double chance, has a really, really good shot at dropping 30 real points um, and it's, it's some, in, in a revenge game, and it's something I want to take advantage of. I'll be doing that on both sites, 6,900 for Tina Charles on Fando. I think it's actually a really good deal. Uh, I think most of the season, as long as you don't see EDD in there, she's going to be 75 to 7,800. So to get the $600 discount makes a big deal, right? That $600 discount may, takes Sabrina from 8,600 to 8,000 if you kind of want to play with your mind. Finally, Brianna Jones. I'm not sure if this will be a surprise to, all, to you all or not, but Brianna Jones, a really good player. Um, you know, blowout brought her to 25. Foul trouble in the first game brought her to 22. And the game that they needed her against Phoenix, she played 35 minutes. I think that you can reasonably project 30 to 32 minutes based on the Suns' really just lack of depth. And Brianna Jones is a good player. Um, she killed it overseas. Um, you know, last game versus Indiana, 16-5-2. We have 9-9-3. Nine, nine, like she's a good player. Um, and it's at 5,000. I was surprised she got a price decrease um, since the start of the season, given her production. On FanDuel, you know, if you get 4X, you're really happy on FanDuel. So to get somebody at price that's in the last two games have gotten close to 5X, like I'll take it, especially on the site. You know, I think it's going to be tough for values today on on that on FanDuel. Um, so in a lot of ways, uh, Brianna, Brianna Jones is really good value for you. All right, that'll do it. Thank you all so much. Just a quick reminder, like, subscribe, and comment. Um, also, if you're interested in full coverage, you can check out the link for subscriptions. So as low as $4 a day, $15 a week, covers every single slate. So all the turbos, late nights, um, showdowns, uh, we've got you covered along with live chat. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, this is Keith, and I'll say see you.